Sure. So I am a second year computer science right now in college, and uh, so far, I mean, like I've done what a second year does, but I've done it through Avishkar. I feel like, like, uh, like uh, how I learned all the way up till here. I feel Avishkar played a big role in that. The first time I, it was in sixth grade. Yeah, it was in sixth grade, and uh, the first time like. I got to know about robotics was through Avishkar in a week long workshop and it was I mean it was just a week but then that week week I think became the most important week of my life somehow I went to Amity International sector 46 through from classes like till 6th class and in 7th I joined Lotus Valley and it was during this time around I think 6th class that I got to know about Avishkar and then uh, and then Avishkar came to Lotus Valley so that was like a lucky move I think and then from there on i uh, like i got into the club and then i started learning about robotics and about other problem solving skills and uh, i got to know about irc league which was a wonderful a wonderful wonderful opportunity like i could learn and then apply and compete at the same time so that was something i really loved and through irc league i got to know many of my friends who i, I still know like it has been 6 years and i still know them and i'm grateful to know them like uh, Like I remember the first time I met them, it was during a team we made for IRC League, and we nobody knew, like uh, each other, and we were all clashing. I think the first time we participated in the IRC League, we utterly failed. I think we couldn't make anything happen. But uh, we realized like uh, how we were like where we all fit in the ecosystem, and after that, we were able to like really collaborate, and I feel we performed really well after that. Thinking everything up from scratch was probably way too much for one person. so collaborating and growing together uh, i think that's probably the best way that seems to be the best way to actually achieve towards a, achieve and work uh, achieve a common goal here yeah. that i realized that planes and things that fly they really fascinated me so all that turned in uh, so all that became like one thing that i want to re- build something really i want i really want to build something that flies and flies well and working towards that goal i would first again as i told you i would make things with cardboard or with blocks and most of the times they would be planes or imaginary spaceships and then with avishkar i realized about motors and then i would somehow try to think if i can make it fly although like i realized that it was hard but then through that exposure of uh, motors and electronic devices and the 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 programming all this thing which i learned slowly slowly i learned about other tools which helped me which could help me realize what i wanted to make and i think in ninth class i was able to make a quadcopter and i don't think i would be able to do that if uh, i wouldn't have started like learning about electronics and problem solving towards and, and learning more just to reach my goal through avishkar in 6th grade it was a journey but again it the journey is the most important part i i like thinking right now i still want to like build a robot again a very simple classic four wheel robot the first one i ever built and at this time i want to like make it go around the house on its own without me telling it to do anything and then i want to like give it wings and then make it fly make a uav i mean like uav is my longer term goal i feel the better way to do it is to like think about what you want to do next right like instead of just uh, going towards that one goal like that ultimate or, or your uh, long term goal instead of going towards that think about going, making a, a shorter term goal and working towards that and once you achieve that then go towards the next so that way it becomes a i mean that way it becomes it becomes harder to lose motivation like because you know your goal in sight you know why you're doing this and then you then you want to keep doing it because then when you learn it you keep exploring okay how can i apply this to this shorter term goal that i have and achieve that so again like if i wanted to build something like a cord copter i took a 3 year journey myself like like again as i mentioned like things didn't, didn't don't always work out so i mean i remember like so many times i had failed i had just given up like hope and stuff i would like go on a break and say okay it's too much i need to take a break and that's when like uh, my mother came in my father came in and they helped me okay come on dad we can get back up take a break it's okay and then uh, again sometimes even with friends right sometimes i would get uh, i would feel like okay i can't handle this i'm feeling burnt out then they would like help me and they, they would take over Uh, there were people at Avishkar as well. Like I worked under Mr. Tarun Bhalla. Uh, like that. That's the, I, I met him first in the the week, the one week workshop, and then uh, yeah, and then they kept me meeting for some time after that. And 
again he would also help me like saying that you should probably do this probably do that and there were like other people as well who would like suggest me design Elon Musk <laughs> because uh, one thing i love about the guy is that he does what he wants to <laughs> and really going from the industry like see like many people uh, or like not people but like once you have like a big industry it becomes hard to like justify doing what you want it just it becomes like you have to stay afloat you have to stay ahead of the competition so you have to make things which make the most buck right but uh, elon musk is some person i feel that who doesn't really care about this thing he loves to build what he does and he and that's how like uh, he loves to build like i think yeah he loves to build loves to do what he wants to do basically and that's how i think he keeps up his motivation instead of like getting sidetracked